Welcome back. A mural is like a poem in paint, and our next guest is speaking volumes through her vibrant artwork around the city. Her pieces can be seen in spots in the Strip District to the south side from Wilkinsburg to Mount Washington and everywhere in between. Also, I was talking about how I followed you on Instagram. You have mm -hmm. so much amazing artwork. Um, so this is Ashley Hotter, yes. and you have so much art everywhere. Mm -hmm. Why street art? Well, I was always interested in art as a kid and growing up, and I always considered myself an artist in a way, but I never felt like I belonged in the art world. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I discovered street art that I felt like, okay, this is where I belong. It's out on the streets, it's out in the community, you don't need like a ticket to go mm -hmm. into a museum, you don't have to like make a special plan or something. It's yeah. just there for everybody and it's free for everybody to enjoy. That's awesome. So what message do you hope to convey through your art? Well, I like to uplift the community, I, even if it's just as simple as bright colors. Mm -hmm. You know, all my artwork has a lot of bright colors. I like all the colors. Yes. <laughs> I like them very, very bright. No, but I like to, um, you know, maybe it's a little break in somebody's day if they mm. just, you're walking by and, you know, you're just kind of hit with some, even if you don't really have time to really look at the mural or you're not interested in the subject matter of the mural, you know, maybe those bright colors will like, you know, maybe be a little positive piece of your day. Yeah, I love that because um, sometimes street art can be viewed as negative. Mm -hmm. So what do you hope that people can get out of it that's positive? Well, we have a couple different types of murals like that we've recently done. Um, we just put up a mural in the north side oh. for the Women Life Freedom Movement. So sometimes there's a message, sometimes there's a social message, or sometimes there's, mm -hmm. you know, a meaning or like a reason behind it that's more than the mural, like we're trying to put a yeah. message out. Yep. And sometimes it's just as simple as, you know, I have other walls that are just beautiful flowers or, you know, clouds. I have a lot of like beautiful clouds and sunset colors yes. in my murals. So sometimes it's just a visual impact that I hope to make and sometimes there is a message behind it. Just that depends on the mural. Um, so the one that you have in the north side, mm -hmm. so explain that a little bit more what the new project you're working on is. So there's two. So there's one that was done through uh, Iranian artist Chloe Hakakian. She started this, it was a nationwide effort, now it's gone worldwide, that we're putting up murals in different cities to shine a spotlight on the largest women-led protests in the world. So it's really her initiative and she's put like a lot of work into it. It's really incredible, it's spread everywhere. And if you look at her Instagram page mm -hmm. or my page, you can see, um, you know, the message that she's trying to sp um, spread yeah. through um, that initiative. And then we also have another piece going up right now. It's in the works, it's about halfway done. Okay, so you have the upcoming project? Yes. Too? What is that? So that is a tribute to Andy Warhol. Oh, I yeah. love it. I saw that on <laughs> so, your Instagram. Yes. It looks so good. So that's in the works right now. That's, yes, that's this one. Um, wow. How you long know, does that take? So that's, uh, what I have so far is taking about five days. That's it? Of work, yeah. Oh my gosh, you're yeah. amazing. I'm pretty, yeah. Wow. I paint pretty fast, and the great thing is I work in spray paint, and it's super fast. Like, yeah. it dries immediately, and you can put a lot of layers on really quickly. I love it. Um, so if you would have advice for one person getting into art, what would it be? I would say, you know, you just have to keep doing it. You know, you just, if you have that passion inside of you, don't think about like, oh, you know, what am I going to do with this? Am I going to, am I good enough? Am I going to make money? Am I going to sell something? Because that plagued me for years. Oh. You know, I, I just didn't think, oh, I can't, I'm not good enough at this. I shouldn't even, there's better artists out there. Why should oh. I even try? But you have to just keep practicing and you just have to keep, you know, not everything you do has to be perfect. Yes. You know, just just do it. There'll be bad ones and you don't have to show anybody <laughs> okay. that. You just keep doing it. You keep those to yourself and yep. you keep practicing. And, you know, one day you're going to get to, you know, where you want to be. You're amazing. 
that you're amazing and you're so good at it. Well, thank you so much for joining me, thank Ashley. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. All right, so still to come on Talk Pittsburgh, we are going to be checking out a few things coming up here, so we'll be right back.